What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Hector T. And as you can see, I'm under a car right now. So, this is a quick video. Because um, after going through this, I realized there are simpler ways to do things. And this way is so much simpler. So, here we have a... Uh, it's 04 on the pilot. And we're doing the CV axle. We're doing uh, the CV axle right here, the front one. Now, the thing about the Honda Pilot is that it's two pieces for their, the drive shaft. It's a CV axle. And then, let me flip the kit. The CV axle right there. Uh, I don't know. Right there. Connects halfway. And then you have a, a uh, another drive shaft to the transmission. Now, in some vehicles, these are one piece. And that clamp right there right there just kind of holds it in this vehicle this is a 04 pilot they're actually two separate pieces so in my case I had to just do the the outer shaft which is the CV axle part and then inside as you can see there's the bracket and there's the inner shaft that goes to the transmission which I did not need to take off now the thing is is that that inner shaft is a male connector. The CV axle right here, where it connects right there, is a female connector. And usually you could just pull them out really easily. But in this situation, these they have the original axles on. That was rusted in. So, what we ended up doing, initially what I was doing was I was going under the car and um, I was using a a, uh, a pry bar and trying to pry it out and let me tell you I was at that for hours I did a couple of different pry bars and a couple of different uh, angles and stuff and it just would not budge however um, looking it up and asking around a couple of people who are mechanics and stuff um, there was you know there was a full a few uh, sketchy <laughs> pieces of advice that they gave me one though, however, gave me one of the best advices. Pretty much this this C clamp thing is your best friend, and I'll show you why. With the C clamp, it goes in right behind the boot. And see, and it sticks out just enough, but it clamps perfectly. And it, well, it doesn't clamp, it just fits perfectly. You connect that to a pull hammer we got the, the five pound slide hammer and it came right out and the whole thing you just so what we did was we actually just cut the boot to pull out this uh, piece so the slide hammer just fit right in here um, I already did it I didn't have my camera rolling <laughs> I should have but again I'm letting you guys know this is the way to do it because this is gonna save you so much time and effort it's unbelievable unbelievable because let me tell you, like I said, I was at this for quite a few hours just trying to chisel it out to no avail. But once I got the slide hammer and I got this little this C clamp here, I, like, I keep calling it a clamp. I don't really know what it's called. But it's the remover specifically. Um, I got it from AutoZone because I checked a couple places they didn't have. I actually checked two AutoZones. So they didn't have them in stock. I had to go to another one and they finally had it in stock. It's 20 bucks for this. You can buy it for 20 bucks. I rented them. Because um, I'll probably find it cheaper. If anything, I'll look on Amazon and see if I can find a link for them to be cheaper. And then, of course, the slide hammer. The one I used was only 5 pounds, which, which was phenomenal. did the trick perfectly. Two, two slides, two yanks on it. That was it. It was already out. Um, but, yeah. So, make sure you do that. Because, like I said, it's going to save you a lot of time and effort. And for future references, for future purposes, make sure you put some anti-seize lubricant on it which I'll have a link down in the description below for that because I use that all the time uh, because it was it was rusted, stuck both inside the uh, the clamp right there for the, the inner rod or the inner uh, shaft and on the hub right in here as you can see it was a little bit rusted so I have some uh, some grease on there the anti seat so that way if I ever need to change these again it's going to be a lot easier to pull them out uh, but like I said, usually I, I put these kind of videos on my TikTok, but you know I figured I would start putting some quick tech tips here too, um, just because it's it's useful information that I wish 
I wish I had known just to go with the sled, just to go with the slide hammer. Because like I said, I looked up a couple of the videos and I asked around, and you know, some people were saying you know it was hard with the slide hammer even. But I guess from chiseling out from the bottom and then using the slide hammer came right out. So definitely just go go with the slide hammer first. Might take you like 20, 30 minutes hammering away, but it's gonna save you a lot of time and effort in the long run. Um, but that's it. That's it for this quick tech tip. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you like it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Got a lot more videos that you guys can see, and I got a lot more videos coming out. Um, if you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell icon and let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, you know, we'll be back with more content. I got some more. If for those of you who are subscribed, you see, yeah, you see the the Ultimus back there. Probably raising some questions for you guys, which I will get to a video about that soon. Um, I just have to finish editing it. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it, and we'll see you guys later.